day friends, it is me, HL My Tech, and I've got a new printer, and I've got about a half hour before the students get here, so let's see if we can get it put together. Today what we've got is the GEE Tech A10 printer, uh, which you can get for about $180. Uh, there will be a link in the uh, video. I'll see if I can get us a coupon for it as well. Uh, this one was bought with my money. Uh, it's one that's been intriguing to me for a while. So let's see what it contains. Okay, first things first, quick start guide, package list, and assembly. On the other side is wiring and printing. So make sure you start with the assembly side. Notice it's really only got four steps, which is pretty slick. This is the entire base section. Pretty awesome. So pull it out of the phone. Glass bed. And all assembled, just needs to be connected. I'm gonna set this behind us for a moment. See if there's anything in these pouches. Yes, the controller. Bag with all the small components. Uh, this component needs to be attached up top. Uh, I did not see that on the little plan. Mouse pad, which is interesting. Power cord. Power assembly, one hook. Does have an on off switch, which is nice. A couple of supports that come out. It's packed in there nice and sturdy, but there it is. And let's look at some instructions and see what we got to build. Before you build anything, I spotted this little guy, which attaches up here. And uh, he should be done before it's all finished. Uh, so, I'm going to attach this first. You can see this has got a little bit of wiggle. So that allows you to slide it in. Because otherwise, those little um, connectors would never actually get in the groove. And now you've still got a good area so that you can tighten them down with the included screws. But that keeps your Z lined up where it's supposed to be. With that piece added, to just put it together on the frame. These are what the spring washers look like and those are the M45s. Spring washers are already on mine, which is kind of cool in the pack. It makes it just a moment faster than it would be if they weren't. make sure that the wires aren't running into each other. I'm going to find my wrench ahead of time. Alright, got the right wrench. Let's attach one side. Notice this is the front, so my extruder is going to come out that side. Let's line up one line and just get that finger tightened a little bit. And then we'll spin it around and get one on the other side as well. Just a couple titans, or a couple revolutions. How about we use better English? Balance it like that for a half second. Grab the other side. Let's get one of these in as well. I don't know what your first kit assembly was. Maybe this is it. But if you've ever done a printer like the A8 or even before that, it is so nice to have these kits come with all these parts already assembled. It's amazing how quick it goes from two pieces to one piece. Double checking I don't have any of those wires caught because they were close. And we'll tighten that little critter up. Next we need to pull out the blue strip so we can attach the power supply with a couple of M4 20mm screws. And then put the blue strip back in place. Strip pulls out pretty easy with uh, just using the little Allen wrench to get it out. Uh, you can see one's down here below, so I'm going to have to bring the uh, extruder up a bit so that it's out of my way for this part of the project. I'm going to just turn it by hand. This is also a good check to see if everything's level because it should come up pretty darn easy, which it is. And if I end up having to adjust this part that I added at the top, I can do that at that time as well. 
All right, got room to take that one out. I can see both of those screws. Let's grab my power supply and get that attached. Nice thing about this project is there's a small pouch with the pieces you need, and there's an another pouch with a bunch of extras just in case. And it's labeled as backup screw kit, so there's a whole extra set. Sweet little screws to come in. It's nice because they fit inside the groove. Wrong wrench. That's better. You push it all the way through so you can see it coming on the other side, and it is that quick and easy to attach your power supply. I'm going to get the second one in before I tighten it down. Because it's always smart to do things, get them both started before you ever light, uh, lock it in there. All right, one done, other done, and then reattach the blue strips. Pretty slick stuff. The nice thing is they measured, and uh, those little parts go right around the screws, so that turned out super slick step is to use these little M5s and attach the display. Peeked ahead though and saw where to connect the blue cable and I'm going to do that ahead of time so that it's more movable while I'm attaching it. Alright so you can see the little wires already out here. These are the metal strips. This is where it slides in. On the manual it tells you the blue side is the bottom. So all they're saying is you simply slide that in that groove and then with it flat, you just lock it in place with the little strip. You do want to be careful with one of these connectors because they can break. But once that's attached, then we can use our little M5 screws to attach it. There we go. Thumb started and then I'll get the other one started. And then I'll find the right wrench and fasten it in there. all tightened in. So now we just need to attach the plastic spool. It slides in on the top with the cool little bolt screws and we will be done with page one. Here's the little packet for these. And if you've never done bolt screws before, you just slide that through and then these are going to slide in the groove on the top of your 2020. And you just attach them like that with the longer piece towards the part. And then what happens is those pull up, that locks in the 2020. After five minutes, I can't get this little fella to thread. So I'm going to double check. I think he might not have any threads inside his little boat nut body. So I'm going to see if I can find a spare. I did look through the little kit that comes with it, and there is not a spare boat nut. So I'm on plan B for a minute. All right, so that one did not have any threads, and the only boat nut I found uses larger threads. So I'm going to just attach mine with just one boat nut at the time. Because uh, I don't want to make any modifications because I've looked at the warranty and if you do any modifications Well, then you can't use the 45 day uh, return. I've also already talked with uh, GE tech They will not support this if you don't buy it directly from them So I bought mine from gear best so if I have any issues I have to deal with gear best so that's just another thing to keep an eye on All right, so she is attached with just one piece and now I'm going to attach the filament uh, holder that just screws in like that piece of cake all right we are ready to switch pages number one teflon tube to the extruder piece of cake already did this number three power cable so let's see what's tangling this up let's make sure you've got a view of what i've got a view of simple tangles and that is what it took was just going under the other cables and that connects just like it's supposed to next up is the wire for the extruder 
It's got an awesome little clip. There's something that's different from the Ender 3. I'm going to snip away the cable tie. One interesting thing to note, uh, no snippers in the tools that they give us. So those were from a different set that I had. Bring this up here and just snap it in like that. That's pretty handy dandy. Now we need to do the filament detector which goes right up on this corner and attach its little wire. Then we can also do the extruder motor. I'm going to take off the little nut. It was already in that place. And then just slide it through and attach it. Kind of nice that it's already there for you to grab so you don't have to hunt for it. That way you're sure you got the right one too. And this little fella is nice and adjustable which is super cool. Right here you can find your extruder motor. Notice it's EM and then this is the tiny one for the filament sensor. Alright, step done. Next up is the X-axis motor and it's end stop. Another cable tie hidden under here. Simple to snip. This is X. There's my X motor and my X end stop. If you look closely you can see which side just slides in and it's easy peasy. Switch back to our design. Just took our X. Now it wants Y which is underneath the printer. Let's go back here. My motor was already attached. I just need to get it so it attaches to the end stop which is on the far side. It's nice that the lengths are so uh, accurate. Alright, and time to connect the Z end stop and the Z stepper. Alright, so here's where your little Z wire attaches for the end stop. It may be easier to attach this before you screw this in. You just want to make sure that you're not yanking on it uh, while you're moving it. And then back in the back is the Z stepper motor and it simply attaches just like that. Cables are all labeled. They all have nice easy markings to show you which side goes in where. They've got the little grooves that make it pretty simple. If you're ever trying to force one on, you're probably not doing it correctly. At this point it's telling us we're ready to print so we can attach some filament, put in the SD card, plug in the power cord, home the printer and disable the stepper motors and then move and adjust the bed using a piece of paper to get your bed level. Rotate it to print and we can print the little g-code file that is built in. So I'm going to run through those steps and let's see what we get for our first print. Thanks for watching. Uh, friends, if you found this useful, uh, please make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. And last but not least, if you want to add a comment, please do it down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Notice there are detailed operation steps and a manual online. You can track those down as well if this is not enough for you. Thanks for watching, friends. Have a great day.